Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me already, my name is Estra and this channel is dedicated to beauty skincare and other shenanigans. Okay, so today finally we're back with a skincare review. I know we've been waiting for this. Y'all been waiting for this. The moisture baby's been But I'm here, I'm here. So today we're gonna be reviewing my skincare products that I've tried for more than a month so I'm able to give you a valid um, review because as we know it takes it takes time for our skin to be able to react to the products we're using it's not gonna be like makeup where you test it you do like a swatch or something and it's like oh I like this product so I'm here to review my products that have been hiding from you uh, not really hiding I've been testing it. I've been going through such a vicious cycle where it's like when do I talk about my skincare products? And then I forget I have to talk about skincare products. I already threw them out. So the first one I'm going to be talking about is not actually with me because I finished it recently. And it's the Cetaphil Gentle Cleanser. And honestly, um, people, I feel like people, <laughs> no one asks me this, but I feel like people must be thinking, why am I always buying these basic ass cleansers? Let me tell you why. Because when I want to use treatments, I don't like to think that okay I'm using this treatment but then my cleanser might clash with it. Sometimes I have flare ups because of my eczema or I have like skin irritation. I don't want to give a single chance for any agitation. I don't want to be able to play around with skincare. I know it's not maybe played around with because some people have like skin conditions and some people really do not enjoy doing skincare. I do and I like test out products. I am on the skin irritated like the irritated skin side, so I don't know why I'm playing with myself. We just love to play. That is me. <laughs> when you have the essential products like cleanser, moisturizer, um, and the sun cream, I forgot, my mind blanked. Um, I feel like those ones you should be really careful with that it doesn't have too much treatment in it. You wanna go overboard because one day you could be sensitized if you have sensitive skin or a skin condition, you could be sensitized. Need to use your product and you can because it's gonna irritate you. What you gonna do? Hmm? Use, uh, to be honest, I was gonna say use Vaseline overlay all over your face, but that's not too bad because apparently it wouldn't block your pores. That's what I've read because some people use that Vaseline as like just like CeraVe healing ointment. They would use it all over their face and when they wake up, it's soft and supple. You know what I mean? For cleansers, I personally like to use products that are not too extra. Something that can complement any product or like a lot of the products that I'm using. That's why Cetaphil was a good choice for me. And I feel like it's a good choice for people who have dry skin or normal skin. Um, even people with, I don't know, I can't really speak for people with oily skin. But it's just like an all-rounder that anyone can use. And I mean, it's basic B products, so you're like, Of course you like it. There's nothing special about it. I know. But I liked it. <laughs> now we're gonna talk about my daily moisturizer. Yes, daily, because I've been a bougie bee and I got a, a daily and an overnight moisturizer cream. So keep your eyes peeled. And they're from the same brand, not sponsored. They will responsible. me. No, no one knows who I am. So I've been using this daily moisturizer. I don't know if. I don't know if it. This is the Sukin Brosive Hydrating Day Cream. For dry and distressed skin types, yes, my is distressed. These assignments, this extras, these, <laughs> these assignments and exams are making me distressed. So I need some good uh, cream, and I'm actually gonna show you how it looks like. So I'm gonna apply it on the back of my hand. Yes, finally the day has come when I'm showing you actual application. It's very lightweight, but don't get mistaken, it goes a long way when you apply it to the skin. Honestly, it goes such a long way. Like, I'm still going, guys. I am still going. And it's a day cream, so I mean, I would say it's definitely on the light side. But it goes all the way here. And I didn't apply too much. So this, what I've shown you right now, I can use it on half of my face. That's why I still have like around this much left in it. Ingredients wise, it has aloe in it, good for combing the skin. I really like aloe. I love aloe. Anything with aloe, I'm like, put it in my basket. Girl, put it in my basket. Uh, <laughs> Sesame seed oil is another good one. This ring, emollient moisturizer, okay. A rose hip oil, I recently discovered it's actually really good for your skin. I used to think like, oh, I, I feel wrong because I, I mixed it with some essential oil, but actually it wasn't essential. We're all Gucci, good in the hunt. 
also avocado again very calming agent as you can see there's a theme here i'm just trying to calm my skin i'm like girl don't get stressed my natural jojoba oil has been so damn good i remember one of my past videos i said jojoba oil and i got roasted i got roasted but i deserved it i should have known how to pronounce it but it's got some essentials towards the end but because it's the end it didn't really bother me and it didn't irritate me at all it definitely has a scent when you open it it has a scent but it didn't irritate my skin genuinely guys but sometimes it annoys me with this product when you're applying it it just goes on forever if you accidentally put too much on this on this index finger you're finished you're gonna be there until your bone turns into a skeleton honey until the meat rots off your body uh, <laughs> if you do buy it it is a good product it will last you a long long time but make sure you don't scoop it out thinking oh it's lightweight I can go like in with a chunk on my face no you're gonna cover your whole body because this goes a long way next product I'm gonna be talking about another moisturizer that is again from Sukin let me show you so this one is a Sukin signature moisture restoring night cream it's thick guys this is some thick thick it's so good I love it this also goes a long way uh, let's look at the ingredients so it has rose in it primrose and jojoba oils um, and when i apply these creams by the way i apply it on my face and my neck that's what i usually do cocoa butter shea butter vitamin e avocado oil it is full of so many good things i'm like what did i do to deserve this it's black at this bomb and i don't usually buy night creams but i felt like a booty me and i thought i could treat myself actually i feel like i got this for my birthday in november and we are guys we are in january okay january and it's still more than halfway through this oh my god okay let me apply this it's similar looking but it's so much it's thicker than the day cream i don't know why i got this much this would cover more than half of my face again as you can see this goes a long way it's so thick I wake up feeling moisturized guys that is just I'm just gonna keep <laughs> I can feel really moisturized it's not like it's gonna get absorbed and disappear by the time you wake up you're gonna wake up feeling moisturized so I would say this is definitely a good product to get another product that I've been using is again I swear to god guys I'm not sponsored but it's again by Suki <laughs> It's a Sukin Rose Hip Certified Organic Rose Hip Oil. Again, for dry and distressed skin. I have sometimes these bumps on my forehead, and when I touch my forehead, like I feel like the bumps and everything. Even though it's not necessarily spots or anything, it just feels very bumpy. But when I use facial oil, and I tend to use it at night, because in daytime it tends to get into my lashes, and it feels like I've got this blurred look because every time I'm blinking, it's just spreading it over the top and the bottom lashes. So I tend to use it at night and I wake up feeling so refreshed, no bumps on my forehead, on my skin, it feels smooth. Facial oil is the one guys. People always tell me like, oh, but it's gonna block my pores, cause I break out. It doesn't, it doesn't do that. If you get the right oil, honestly, it won't. Honestly, this, this is like a skin elixir. It's like a, and your makeup also looks really good under this. So I would say invest in a good facial oil. I got this in... In November for my birthday as you can see I spoiled myself you don't need to comment on that thank you very much and I've got more than half left and I got this in November beginning of November guys and it's like middle of January and I still have so much to go let's look at the ingredients again it has rose hip oil in it it's literally just rose hip oil that's in this and it's been so good um, again these products like these sukin products that I've just shown you they all have a scent like you can smell them for sure this has definitely a scent but it's kind of like you can also smell some oil does that make sense this one as well two or three drops are enough for your whole face oops that was poor i'm gonna regret this so again i'm gonna apply it here and it's like i don't know if you can see i don't know if people say like oh it's greasy it's an oil i mean I don't know. I mean, I guess maybe some people would call it greasy, but because I feel like I always wear a lot of hair oils and stuff like that, I don't really, I can't really comment on whether it's greasy or not. It's an oil. I mean, <laughs> but 
but it's really good for the skin honestly i wake up my skin is soft and supple i don't feel like there's bumps in it so again another good product i feel like i just know what to buy you get me i just know you just need to listen to me listen to isra <laughs> if you're enjoying my product review so far please make sure to like and comment and let's start a conversation about this have you tried any of these products before or have you thought about trying these products let's talk about that this is a simple hydrating cleansing oil i'm not gonna apply this because i have no makeup i do have makeup to remove but i know this is not gonna remove it it removes like the foundation it removes everything except my mascara like every time i'm rubbing it rubbing it it's not removing it but my micellar water on the other hand i just you know i soak my cotton pad whether it's reusable ones or disposable i leave it over my eye i press it there and then after a while i take it up and it's like it's taking it off so we set a water over this cleansing oil for sure i mean if you don't tend to use mascara then i feel like this could be okay but honestly i don't think i'll be rebuying this it wasn't that deep for me usually i would have to if i'm planning to use this to remove the oil based product on my face now I'll probably remove the mascara and this kind of stuff with my micellar water i would go in with this then my cleanser it feels like that's a triple cleanse and I don't know if you should be doing that because, okay guys, I've discovered something and I feel kind of ashamed. Me calling myself a skincare enthusiast and me not knowing this, apparently, micellar water and oil cleansers are meant to be the same level. So it's double cleansing. So why am I doing three different things? I always thought that micellar water is just to remove makeup and then any oil residues are removed with a cleansing oil and then a normal cleanser. No, apparently the oil cleansers are there to remove your makeup full on. How it is on your face i didn't know that so after knowing having this knowledge i would definitely put this as a five i would not get this if i were you now as i said we're in the winter months right now so i wanted to get birds and bees lip balm because i tried it last year when i was still in ipswich and i got the vanilla bean one birds and bees vanilla bean lip balm is the bomb you can't argue with me like it's for winter times it's always moisturized my lips so damn good it was so good guys it honestly gives such good coverage, moisturizing, and it's for me it lasted a long time. And when it went out, I was genuinely disappointed. So I was like, oh, let me try Birds and Bees again, but a different one. And I tried the hemp one because I know hemp is, you know, gonna calm, like have this calming effect, especially now that we're gonna have chap lips in these, in these months. I don't wanna have that, so I tried this. And honestly, I was so damn disappointed. This, I would not buy again. Matter of fact, as I was. Demonstration. As I was dragging it on my lips, and my lips were so dry, it was like screaming for moisture. It's like, it felt like if I drag it one more time, like it's like if I drag it any further, my lip is gonna rip and it starts bleeding. Like, it's one of those that you really have to work into your skin. You have to keep on replying. The amount of times I've talked to people that I'm trying to reapply this step one, and I'm just going for hours until it finally warms up to my skin. And it finally gives it a coverage I need. And it also has a very, I don't know, I would say semi-sweet taste to it. And I feel like that also doesn't feel good. It feels like semi-sweet in a sense. Like, you know, when you put sugar on your, or there's sugar from popsicle or any kind of sugar on your lips. It feels drying on your lips and that's what it's giving to me. It's not really long lasting. After you applied it, yeah, you got the good coverage. You worked it in. You spent your life working it into your lips. And then you have to reapply it. Like, what was the point? And yeah, I'm really not enthusiastic about this product. I'm gonna repurchase Birds and Bees, but not hemp. This lip balm will never see me again. So this one gets a two. I don't want to be mean. A one or a two. It's really mm, one when it can be worked in. It can be okay for a short time. That's why I'm giving it a two. A two. See, I'm being generous. I'm such a generous person. Next products I'm gonna be talking about is either the ones I'm still trialing, so I can't really give you feedback on it. And the ones that have arrived in the mail and the ones I went today to buy. Yes, guys, I have a spending problem. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Toner that I've been using currently since my lactic acid one ran out. And that was a, a good one. And it was from Inkylist. And what I've noticed about the products that I brought from Inkylist, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but Inkylist always gives products in such small containers. And it deceives you. It makes you think, oh, it's going to run out in a few weeks. But it lasts ages. Don't let the container fool you. It will last you ages. So lactic acid one was really good, especially for sensitive skin. Um, I've run out of it. So now I'm trying the PHA toner, which also is an exfoliator and it's for sensitive skin specifically. So far, no issues with it, but I can't really give you a full review on it. 
until I have fully have that month of experiencing it on my skin. So the pH toner, the Inkless pH toner, this one is much bigger than the Inkless one. And I'm very excited to see uh, if it's gonna be just as good as the lactic acid one. Another thing that I got today actually from Inkinis and it's the oat cleansing balm. So after I run out of the oil cleanser, this is what I'm gonna be using to remove my makeup. And I'm really excited about this guys. Inkinis, as I said, they always give small products in this. This is like around the size of my face. This is huge. Let me open it actually. I have not opened it since I bought it. Look how big it is! I mean, I know you guys are like, why is she so extra with it? But ink is never, <laughs> I never tried an ink this product that looked normal human size. They were always like, you know, if children could have play skincare, that's the size that we're talking about. But this is like such a good amount. But I mean, if I'm going to be removing my makeup, especially for people who wear a ton, no judgment, I sometimes wear a ton. Um, you better give me the quantity that I want, but maybe it goes a long way, so we're gonna have to see. And what I like about Inkylist is when you get them, it will tell you who is it for. So this is for normal sensitive skin, and it also tells you how to use it, so it has steps on the side. So first, you would use this old cleansing balm, then you hydrate and you treat, toner, Exfoliating treatments, targeted treatments, eye treatments, moisturize, and skin. Of course, you don't have to do all these treatments because that was a mouthful, but I really like it that they give you steps of how to use it and where to implement it into your skincare routine because often there are so many products, so many different product names, and it's just so tiring to hear about all this. But when you have instructions, it can be really helpful. Another product that I bought recently was the e.l.f. Super Clarify Cleanser with Clarifying Niacinamide. Looks like this. Actually, I think it's better to show it here because the light is better. <laughs> yes, so it's 100 milliliter. What has, okay, it has Niacinamide in it. I usually don't tend to have much products, I don't know, active ingredients in my cleansers, but yeah, we're gonna try it. Apparently it's really nice and I looked at the ingredients and I did see that I think there was some. Um, it has nice cinnamon in it, lavender oil, which is an essential oil. I'm really not for essential oils because they can be. They, I don't think they really ever have irritated my skin, but I would rather go with the chance of not having it in my products or very, mm, very at the bottom of the ingredient list. But I mean, it is what it is. I don't think it's gonna be an issue because I'm gonna wash out my face anyway. I know people have been always raving about nice and my this, nice and my that. You know when vitamin C used to be a hype, and now I feel like the hype is about nice and my. Well, we're gonna see how this cleanser works. We're gonna see. I'm gonna see how it feels after I wash it off on my skin. I hope it's not gonna feel tight, especially in these months. I don't wanna have no tightness in my skin. But yeah, this is one of the cleansers I'm planning to try. And now let's talk about this. This is my package that came from yesterday. These are my Korean products that I've ordered. It's like this. And bubble wrap too. I mean, maybe some of the products, are they in glass? Is that why it's packaged like this? I've never seen it packaged like this. They really wrapped it. They weren't joking of when they said wrap. Someone wanted the raise after they wrapped this. Woo! Okay. Oh wow! Oh my god! I even forgot I ordered this! Okay guys, so I know, I know I've always been using this as my trusty sun cream, but I really wanted to try something else. And I mean, I always see these overpriced sun creams that are like, I don't know, 50 or less milliliters, and it's like 20 pounds, 30 pounds, and you know, I'm not about to spend my money, like, you know, break the bank over skincare. I mean, I do it, but it's necessary. So I decided to get this one, which is 50 ml, and it costed me, I think, five pounds, so it wasn't really that deep. And it's the Apiao, I'm gonna write down in the description box below, you can look it up. It's the Apiao Pure Blood Daily Sun Cream, SPF 45 PA++++. So I'm so excited to try this one. Maybe I should compare it with how it is against this. Oh, better! This is gonna be a real ultimate WWE Smackdown. The regular and the potential nemesis you get. So I also bought a. <laughs> you see this packaging? It's pepper ink velvet lip tint. Oh my god, guys! 
I don't really want to test this right now, but we're gonna open this box. <gasps> oh my god, or can we? Can we? So I got Ink Velvet 21 in the shade Coral Red. I want to really try it. I don't know if I can try it. Okay, so that uh, looks okay. So I'm gonna apply. Oh my god, god. Okay, this one actually has a scent. The one that they used to do, it didn't have a scent. What I like about it is that it's so velvety. I mean, I don't think in this lighting you're gonna see it. Is that they are so velvety and they're the bomb. I think they're the best lip tint I've ever tried, period. Um, find me in the comments, we can talk about it. We can go outside. We're not going outside, it's too cold, girl. Um, <laughs> please enlighten me if you know any other lip tint products that I should try. But yeah, this one I'm so excited for. It smells amazing. I feel like this is gonna be right under my nose and I'm like obsessed with scents. So I'm gonna be like whatever you say. I'm just trying to breathe in my lip tint and that's all period. Okay. <laughs> okay, next for now. Oh wow, I didn't see. I was like, did I get two of these actually? No. <laughs> this one is one of the presents that I got from my boyfriend. I also got him this sun cream so you can try it as well. So I got this one I'm not gonna open because it's his present. It's the Snail Bee High Content Essence. So, 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 apparently it helps you absorb your products better. And I mean, I heard a lot of good things about this, so I thought I'd get it for him. I like to buy skincare room, I got him into skincare, and you know, we're looking together, so we decide together. I mean, you're gonna try this, so I'm bringing it to him, I think, on Tuesday. When we're going to see each other because my graduation has finally been rescheduled to Wednesday, guys. I am going to graduate in the month for. <laughs> I love how I was ready. I was like, this is a logo. The month for university graduation. I'm coming. <sighs> guys, I'm so excited. I'm finally going to get my dream graduation. Hopefully, I will not fall over. <laughs> but yeah, back to the topic. And then I also got this. This serum is vitamin C. I know vitamin C is out of trend. And I feel like there are a lot of products that can give you the same effect that vitamin C does and it's unnecessarily sensitizing. I know I'm not really saying the product right now, but this one's apparently one of the top brightening serums. So I really want to put it to the test and after this, if this doesn't work, I'm so over it. I'm just going to embrace my under eyes, whatever. I'm going to embrace my high pigmentation. I will aspire to embrace it. How about that? Um, but yeah, this one has pure, it's a pure vitamin C essence. It has scent and age to extract. And it's meant to be working really good. Every website that I went to, they always mention this damn serum. So let's open it. Um, ugh, I'm so excited that I'm, I don't even care about ripping. I don't care about ripping this box. Matter of fact, I know you guys are going to be like, it's really you a savage. How could you do that to a box? Okay, fine. I'll open it in the normal way. <gasps> okay, I really like the packaging. I know it's not about the packaging, but it looks really... I don't know if you can... I'll try to zoom in. I'll try to zoom in. Um, but yeah, let me see if it has any sense. I mean, I can always track that. And let me see its consistency. Okay. Kind of was struggling when it was coming out of the bottle, but. Hmm. I don't know if I'm smelling. Okay, let me try to put it on my hand so I can see if it has any scent. Put one drop there and I feel like the dropper kind of struggled on its way out a bit but not in a way that it's like oh it can't be used I mean okay it has a slight smell scent and it feels like it has an oily is it just me let me apply it to a different area of my body it kind of feels like it has an oily structure I need to do it Let's see this. I don't know, it feels like it has an... Oh wow, yes. This product has an oily... Oh, I did read about this product. They were raving about the texture that it was a very... I don't know, it had a very moisturizing feel to it. Yeah, it has a really nice scent. I mean, I don't know how that will pan out with the fact that this is vitamin C. But apparently what people liked about it is that it improves texture, it brightens your skin, and it's very mild at the same time. So I'm really excited to try this out, you know. The only thing I have left is sometimes they send these <laughs> free samples. So there's daily go to sun cream. It's not really from a necessary... Oh, it's just a Yes Style Care Beauty Sample. Not really from any specific brand. Usually it is. This one is from 
Coxair Intensive EGI Peptide Cream, which is anti-wrinkle and vitalizing. It's for anti-wrinkle and vitalizing care. So there's collagen, peptide, and EGF in it. Okay, so I guess I could use these samples. Maybe when I'm feeling rouge, maybe when I'm feeling like I'm gonna do some, I don't know, self care membrane session. Sometimes these are enough. Like you think it's in a small package, but sometimes it's enough. I'm really looking forward to trying these products, and hopefully they're gonna be in a good set. Hopefully they're not gonna irritate the fuck out of me. Um, <laughs> this is always the aim with me. Hopefully it works, but hopefully it definitely won't irritate the hell out of me. So. Yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a like. Comment down below about any of these products. Um, if you've tried them or you uh, want to try them. Or if you got something to say about birds and bees, ham. Let's go in the comment section. Let's trash it. I'm joking. We don't need to trash it. Let's spread love. <laughs> but anyways, I will see you guys next time. Bye.